What is up, Chosen Fruit, Chosen Vessel, Chosen Nation? What is going on? Your girl is back with a big, quick message where we definitely want to welcome the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit says, what? Bring me, mention me, okay? Ruach Akadash on the forefront. And what I have today for us is Job. Job 23. Even today, it says, then Job replied, even today my complaint is bitter. His hand is heavy in spite of of my groaning if only i knew where to find him if only i could go to his dwelling i would state my case before him and fill my mouth with arguments i will find out what he would answer me and consider what he would say to me would he vigorously oppose me no he would not press charges against me there the upright can establish their innocence before him and there i would be delivered forever from my judge but if i go to the east he is not there and if i go to the west i do not find him the lord is literally highlighting so many different things in regards to a matter regarding yourself and your sanity there are things that's trying to pull you out or bend you out of shape or just make you stress and make you worry or just make you look towards a route negative or distractions distractions are trying to gear you to look towards it in a way where it's like okay i can uh, focus on this from this standpoint or focus on this from a, a, a place of who I used to be. And God is saying in any type of situation that tries to bring you bitter, you want to remember the Lord. You want to go forth in such a way where, my God, as Job is experiencing the pulling and the tearing and the shaking, this reminds me of J. Kalen Carr's song, uh, if it had not been for the shaking, I never would have been ready for the making, no. God is really making you. He's really cultivating you. And as you understand that the desire in your heart is the Lord to fix you, the desire in your heart is the Lord to show up on your behalf, to avenge you in regards to certain matters and just letting things happen in the course that's happening in this season of your life, no matter what somebody is doing against you, no matter what the choices of the opposing side is trying to do to stop you from completing the mission of what you want to do in your life that the Lord has geared you to have set in his plans for you as you choose to take the upright road to life even when it hurts even when things happen even when the enemy tries to do certain things baby when you choose god and to focus on god and to know that god will never leave nor forsake you or or do you the way that you're the the, the opposing force is trying to make you seem like you know your life is being done if you understand that god is on your side even in the trials even in the error even in the things that my god may have caused heartbreak from a season. God is using it to mend you. He's using it to heal you. And he's using it to grow you. So in this season, you want to allow it to um, push you, motivate you, be prosperous. Allow it to, as God is the Holy Spirit, he's purging you. Allow it to make you go harder in another area of your life that you didn't always see yourself accomplishing certain things. Even if it's the small things in your home. If you like, okay, in this season of your life when you were younger, you may not been like organizing a lot or um, doing things that were healthier around the house. But as you start to focus on being content in everything that God has blessed you with, whenever there's things that's trying to make you look towards distraction, start finding something healthy to focus on. God will bless you over because if he could trust you with a little, he'll trust you with a lot. And so I can't let y'all know that don't let that season that made you feel as though it, it was trying to weaken you, be the end all, okay, of your story. Allow that thing to build you, allow that thing to make you do something more. You know, the Proverbs wife, she literally finished all of, she completed all of her tasks. So even if that's something that you have done with accomplishing within the Lord or you set certain goals, allow yourself to get to those goals by saying, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me pray more, you know, um, and then believe again, believe, 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 because I was reading Habakkuk earlier, and the Lord was like, write the vision and make it plain, okay, and so the Lord is like, Habakkuk prayed three times, and by the third time, he started to see the expression of that prayer, and so you just want to get to the victory with God, don't let Satan try to take you away from God, or tell you to curse God, you know, Job's story was, yeah, we know. But 
let's get there with our Christ-like identity and show up from a place in which we can arrive where it's not who we used to be, but such a redefined moment in who God purposed us to be. I love y'all so much. I probably would have never thought I was going to get to this message today, but uh, yeah, I made it because the grace of God and I'm grateful. And I love y'all so much. We 